what the Church of Scientology is so afraid of. This, this is SPTV. Welcome back, everyone, for some real housewives of Scientology. Facebook edition. I love this. This is my favorite game. Yes. The gift that keeps on giving Scientology moms humble bragging about their case level and their reincarnated OTC or executive children. It's a lot of fun, guys. It's a, it's very entertaining, this one. And we don't even know. You don't know. We don't know, do we, Aaron? We don't know what we're going to read tonight. We have no. <laughs> it's just going to come up as it does. We're just. We'll all get to laugh together is what I mean. We're dipping into the vault. Uh, and because there's so many, there are so many posts that we don't actually know everything that's coming up. I'm probably going to, once I have a good one, I'll screen share. Then I'll unscreen share because I don't love showing photos of kids, even though these moms put all their photos of kids on Facebook. I'm trying not to show their kids. And uh, I just hope we find some more Scientologists complaining that their husband cannot get and maintain an erection because for me, that's the true gold. That was solid gold, wasn't it? I can't stop thinking about that one. <laughs> that one and the creepy guy that had a place in Paris and Clearwater who likes to buy purses for you, but drill you in the course room. Yeah. And um, I'm sorry, if you're going to pay a few hundred thousand dollars for OT powers, the least you can get is the ability to uh, salute the flag when, 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 the, when the opportunity arises. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that was, I will agree. That one was pretty golden and it's or kept run the flag up, up the night pole. laughing. Yikes. Run, run, running the flag up the pole makes more sense than saluting the flag. Maybe you have to run it up the pole and then salute it. I don't know. We're just messing around, guys. We like to mess around, guys. <laughs> For all you people in OSA who have to watch our videos, I hope you appreciate the entertainment and the innuendo. Um, it's the least that we can do since you guys have to put up with little Captain Davy from the fake space. Navy, speaking of which, go ahead. I'm sorry. You're no, I, I just I got everybody's posting pictures of him, and I have one, and he's upstairs. I got to bring him down. You got to bring him down. Um, mm -hmm. I have somewhere a banner that I created. Oh, yeah. You can get your own little Captain Davy from the fake space Navy at uh, the SP shop on fourth wall. 100% of the proceeds go to support the Aftermath Foundation. So there you go. That's awesome. Um, now, I uh, let me see. I have a special gift that I want to open up. This came from Angie. I don't know. Should I say your last name? I mean, I, I never know if I'm. I did to say when I got name. mine. Angie Deaton. Angie oh. Deaton. Angie, this package was sitting on my kitchen counter for like a week before I even opened it up. Oh, there she is! Look, she's in here. She just said hi to everybody. Uh, and I told you, I told you he would love this, Ange. Okay, you got one of these, and I said how much I wanted one. This is first of all, it's heavy. Oh, I know it's it's super quality. It's amazing. Okay, it's oh, it's got stuff on the inside. Oh, oh my goodness! What? There's candy. Angie, I I didn't get candy in mine. A couple hundred grand for the IAS M mm and -hmm. M's. Lucky. Swedish fish. Oh. I love Swedish. Okay, I think you're just showing off. You don't have to. You don't have to show us anymore. Of course, you got. Did okay. you get Sour Patch? Those Sour Patch Kids, Angie. No, that's Swedish Fish. Swedish Fish. Yep, Sour Patch Kids. Dang it! I knew okay, it. Okay, but guys, check this out. It's Body Thetan spray. It says, "Not today, David Miscavige." Kills 100% of demons. Don't try to spray. Holy Spirit, activate. Oh, I thought it was. I did yours say body thetans or was it this? Uh, demons? mine said not today, Thetan on it, not and yours today, says Thetan. scavenge. Um, yours. Oh, is can I read the directions? Yeah, read, the, read directions. the directions. It's amazing. Anytime that demonic feeling comes around, simply stand back and spray that demon right in the face. Continue until that demon is gone. Where to use? There is no limit to where not today, Satan spray can be used. You can use it at a church, at home, at the store, at the park, and at the office. Works great for Satan, demons, demonic kids, demonic cats, demonic dogs, demonic parents, demonic teachers, demonic men, demonic anything. It doesn't say demonic women. That's not fair. Active ingredients, holy water, pinch of salt, dash of demon be gone, and splash of Jesus water. 
<laughs> Isn't that awesome? Yes. That's like the coolest gift. I thought that was so nice that she wanted to send you one. She's the one that asked for your address. Oh, that is so cool. And uh, Blake Reed sent us some whorehound candy that we said we would have some live on air. Did you already have some whorehound? What did you call me? You know what I called you. You heard me. I had Blake. I got mine today, but I ripped it open right when I got it in the car. Jeff and I each had one. Okay. I think you're supposed to do one at a time there. It's not that exciting, Aaron. First of all, it tastes like it's already been eaten. I'm sorry, Blake, but it tasted a little bit like it had already been in someone else's mouth. <laughs> kind of like that's what coconut water tastes like to me. It tastes like it's already been drank. <laughs> so that's my, that was my take on it. I'm sorry, Blake. I know you spent the money to ship it to me. I did eat two just to be sure. I wanted to be I've been sure. eating them for days, Blake. Okay. I've been eating them days? for days. Oh, I just yeah. got mine today. See, I, and I even took the care to neatly cut the top off so that I wouldn't destroy it. I think Bar it's weird that you're stuffing them into your mouth, though, like Fritos. It's not that good. You know this how I am the with movie food. theater, Aaron. Yeah, you and know you know what's I not fair about that? I wasn't going to eat one on a live because I get my head ripped to shreds. I, I literally go through the shredder when I put a candy corn in my mouth. Remember that? It's because you make all the mouth noises. How many of those are in your mouth? You are making Four. mouth noise. Am I? Are you serious? I'll yeah. I'll spit them out. We'll hear it. We hear it. I'll spit no, them no. out. No, no. Don't spit them out because you won't get yelled at. I get yelled at because I'm overweight. By the <laughs> it's so unfair. By the way, they're very hard. I'm afraid. I have strong teeth, but I'm afraid that if I bite these things, well, your teeth are strong until they're not. So, yeah. no, really, I wanted to. I feel like, can you hear all the mouth noises? Very much. Actually, yes. But I mean, it doesn't long. bother me. It doesn't bother me. People get so triggered over that. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, there was five. Yeah. Angie, you got me candy corn. You little angel. Oh, no, it was four. You it put was four. four of those in your mouth. They're small. It's not like it's a big deal. It's a big okay. deal. It's, it's And they rattle around in my teeth. I don't want to make too much noise, but don't worry, Blake. I'm going to go back to those at the end. Also, you're um, afraid of the dentist, so it's probably best not to. I go to the dentist all the time. I get my teeth cleaned. All I the time. know, but you had to be knocked out for one tooth pulling. Oh yeah, I'm afraid of the pain. Yeah, I don't like needles. I do not like needles. Mm -hmm. I I couldn't even imagine someone in there like uh, loosening teeth and yanking teeth. I'd like rather... your creepy second grade teacher. Third grade, Mrs. Rosenswag, Cecilia yeah. Rosenswag. She's a she's an amazing woman, and we're still friends on Facebook after all these years. Yeah, I wonder if she watches this because that haunts my dreams at night. Her, I you know said she, she had three inch nails, and she would pull them out her children's teeth out. Well, to little eight, eight year olds in the third grade, I mean, it uh, it could have been this. To be fair, Mark Headley says this is six inches, um, because yeah, but so like it's possible that. It just seemed like huge to eight to an eight year old, but yeah, if you want, if you had loose teeth and you wanted your teeth pulled, you went to Mrs. Rosenswag and she yanked those suckers right out. That was what she that was. That didn't for. get any more comfortable the second time. <laughs> <laughs> really uncomp. Um. Okay, so I had to Google. So let's see. On your channel, this video is called Real Housewives of Scientology. On my channel, this is called like. Real Housewives of Scientology. Lisa did what? I had to look up who's the most famous person. Like I just did a Google, you know, the Google autofill. Real Housewives stars. And Lisa Vanderpump is apparently one of the most famous Real Housewives people. Does that ring true Vanderpump? in the live chat? Vanderpump? Uh, we know. That's it's a marketing. Oh. Okay. Okay. That makes more sense. Cornelius, yes, Mrs. Rosenzweig. She's not just called that. That's, you know, that was her name, Mrs. Rosenzweig. Now, I might be spelling it wrong. It might be like R O S E N Z W E I G. I don't know. But uh, Cecilia Rosenzweig, she was the best. Wait, second grade teacher. Did I say Mrs. Andrews was my third grade teacher? Mrs. I knew Rosen it. I no, said no. second grade. Mrs. Mrs. D'Amico was my third grade teacher. Mrs. Rosenzweig was second grade. Excellent memory. Mrs. Right. Andrews was first grade. I'm still completely occluded on my time track for kindergarten. I cannot remember my kindergarten teacher's name. It's weird because I feel like I was there. I think um, I was loaded down with too many overts. Um, from the Vanderpump. I'm sorry. 
I'm uncomfortable with that last name. It makes me think of my dentist, Dr. Careswell. I forgot to show you a picture of my dentist, though, because I think you're going to fly here tomorrow and forget all about the pain. This oh, is my dentist. Me. Oh, I think my tooth hurts. That's my Amazing dentist. Look at Her those bodacious really, Bahama mamas. Her, Her name, name is, is really Dr. Careswell. Holly Careswell. And she has the cutest, like tiniest little figure. And I don't know. Um, I don't know why she posts so many pictures of herself, but look at that. We know why. You're right. I mean, we know why. I yeah, I would I would definitely nothing wrong like, with I'm that. not. Yeah. I I just thought maybe you'd thought maybe I mean, if I, crown or something. If I had a gorgeous head of hair, I'd be posting a lot more photos of myself on social media as well. You know what I'm saying? The hair. Yeah, it's the hair for sure. Exactly. Uh, all right. So let's see. Anything new with you before we jump into the Real Housewives of Scientology Facebook posts? You know, Anything special going on. Uh, I still feel like people are following me, but I'm not entirely sure. So it's getting kind of, I'm getting it's not a paranoia thing, but I just am like, why are they sitting so close to me? It seems like it's happening in restaurants. People are like choosing tables really close to me. And I don't know. So I just, um, I crossed the line. I made the decision. I know it's controversial, but I thought I'm going to start carrying and it's probably too much power. I think I got the biggest one. I probably shouldn't, you know, it's too much for me, but I went to uh, office max and I got the biggest fax machine I could find and I'm carrying it. <laughs> you couldn't find Took all day uh, to come up with that joke. You couldn't find a right sized fax machine me meant for a concealed carry. Yeah. And so I had to get a bigger purse and now I carry this thing around and uh, if it works for Dan, I figured, you know what I mean? Yeah. <clears throat> I didn't realize Ruger was making a line of fax machines these days, but it they makes are. sense though. It makes it sense. It wasn't cheap. Yeah. It's the newest. It's the newest one. <laughs> I love it. You know, in Florida, you don't even need a license to carry a fax machine anymore. Really? Did they do away with that? Yeah. Wow. I Yeah. I had to go down and throw a few and hit the target with it. And my arm is sore, I'll tell you, but. I did it and I got my concealed facts. It's very brave. Very. Brave yeah. and stunning. Yeah. All right. You ready to jump into some uh, real housewife posts? I'm ready. Been ready for a while to do this. I love these. I hope there's right. some good ones. So, Andrea Mills Olivia, talk to me about messy houses and being in session. <laughs> I'm about to start. <laughs> What? This is already golden. Go on, go on. I'm about to start OT1, and since I started Solo 1, my house is an ever-loving disaster. Tell me it's okay and that I'm not failing miserably as a mom and a wife. Because that needed to be posted in a group. You know, you, hold on. I'm going to give you one chance to answer right, Aaron. Do you know why we created this post? Because I'm about to start OT1. All of these are for dick swinging purposes. The the house and all that had nothing to do with it. She wanted you guys to know. I made it to my OT. I was invited to my OT levels. <laughs> I'm about to start my OT levels. Please tell me I'm not failing as a wife, a mother, and a partner, and a human. Mm, please <laughs> tell me, guys. Humble brag. Oh my God, these are terrible. She's oh, like, my I house was a shot the comments. My house was a shit show before I started OT1, but I didn't want to post about it then. I wonder if she got written up for this because by the time you're on OT1, you should probably have your matter, energy, space, and time in order more than that. Yeah, she's clearly not cause over life or messed or whatever. She should go back to her Purif, just like everyone else, and um, get her case in order. Yeah, uh, it seems pretty out of order. Okay, so this next post, even if I don't show the kid's photo, the mother is using her kid's name in the post. So I won't show it. The mother is Ari Walker, Aridana Walker. Most people in Scientology and Clearwater, everyone in Scientology and Clearwater knows who Ari Walker is. Um, Ari Brenner, uh, Liz Brenner was her mom. 
Uh, so Ari Walker is her married name. Anyway, let me just read parts of it. The attached success story says it all. Our 11 and a half year old daughter, and I'll leave out the name, recently completed the purification rundown at Flag. Oh my God. Okay. Help your kids start or continue on the bridge. It's truly magical how they change, improve, reach for more, and thrive as a result. Uh, it turns out her daughter's now got three jobs. You need to put these kids to work. At 11 and a half? Jeez, yeah, I mean, where was she before that? Lazy. I know. Okay, moving up the bridge and doing services in our church for our whole family is what keeps us winning, connected to source, and successful in life. Hashtag family success. Hashtag thrive. Hashtag group up the bridge. <laughs> okay, let me see. I'm going to read to you the success story of an 11-year-old after doing the purification rundown, okay? Okay. I used to have headaches almost every day, and I'm only 11. That's Maybe you shouldn't talking. be working that full-time job, kid. Yeah. Um, it's almost like the kid. Okay, let's just keep going. Doing the Purif has let me go days, sometimes weeks, without having another headache. I feel much more energetic and free now that I've handled my headaches. By the way, she doesn't even say the headaches went away. She just says she yeah. gets them less often. I was going to say, I'm already diagnosing her as out interiorization, but go on. Now that I've handled my headaches and toxins residuals that were in my body, I also now know how to handle my headaches. And I'm only 11. Again? Yeah. We're stating this again? Okay. All of this came from doing the Purif, and I'm glad that I am a Scientologist. And hey, I finished the Purif. Um, <sighs> there's a lot to unpack there. I could not imagine letting my 11-year-old child do a program that required them to take toxic levels of niacin and be in a sauna for five hours a day for weeks and weeks, seven days a week. You're not allowed to take a break um, and convince them that they are so toxic just from existing on earth that this is necessary for them to uh, improve their spiritual awareness. Not you kind of left one part out. So guys, not just five hours a day, but uh, for how long, Aaron? I mean, typically it, it goes sometimes as long as months. It goes. Sometimes yeah, months. Yeah, I know somebody that it took like 103 days to do the purif. Yeah, that's you can't miss a day. You can't miss an hour. You it's it's a it's a real deal thing. Hold on, we didn't mention though that that child could have a twin in that sauna that may just be one other person. The saunas are never packed full of people. I had to do, I've done four purifs. My last one I had to do with the purif IC, which stands for in charge because there was nobody else to do it with me. Okay. That kid could have been in there with a 50, 60 year old brand new guy. Oh yeah. Just that sitting could in be there twin. in a sauna for five hours a day with half naked. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. The next post, again, it's a Scientologist posting a photo of their 11-year-old child, this time a son, a boy instead of a girl. So I'm not going to show the post itself. But it says, there's no prouder moment in time than watching your 11-year-old son go on stage at Flag, having completed his first bridge step, standing amongst giants. He said, now I'm a true Scientologist. And there's more to the post, but it cuts off. And, uh, and he's holding a certificate for the purification rundown. So they're just pumping these kids through the Purif. Which I also want to talk about the Purif LRH from what I remember. I, I read Clear Body, Clear Mind, but I don't remember it. Isn't that for people who the Purif is actually for people who have like a heavy drug history or um, radiation, right? Yeah. I mean, first of all, it's supposed to be for adults. It's supposed right. to be like, uh, it's not just for drug, uh, people who have a drug history, but the rules in Scientology used to be that if you did not have a history of taking any drugs, and if your personality graph was above the center line, you did not have to do the purification rundown. That's why I didn't do the purif until I was 22 years old. Your it's first like, purif was at 22? Yeah, because when I was little, they're like, oh, he doesn't have to do any of this because he's fine. And but these days, Miscavige has changed the rules. Just one of the many things Miscavige has changed, where there's no one who doesn't have to do. 
the PRF and the objectives. I didn't have to do objectives. I didn't have to do the Scientology drug rundown. So I never had any objectives audited. That's how, that was the old, that was, well, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, there's a bunch of posts here that I'm going to skip, not because they're not good, but because they're not in order. Uh, hold on. Uh, no, oh God, they're so good. They're so good though. Yeah. Why are you skipping? Don't be skipping. Because they're not in order. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, like now if it's I do. five Dang. of them. Well, that's what I, <laughs> you want to talk about it. It would, and it would take too much. They're so good. I wish I could find the first one. I wonder why they're not in order. I sent them to you that way. Okay, let me just, I know, but I've copied and pasted them and all sorts of stuff. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, let's take a look at this one. Jennifer Latch is someone who I've known since I was about 14 years old. Uh, she used to be from Chicago, Org. Jennifer Jendusa is her maiden name. She married Steve Latch from San Francisco. Then she moved to San Francisco. And it looks like she's now on staff in San Francisco. Okay, Jennifer Latch, I joined staff. I did the TTC. That's the technical training core. That's when you study, you're, you're doing full-time training. Mm -hmm. And I co-audited to clear. By the way, she's talking about earlier in life. Like this is long ago. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then I received 50% off of my OT levels all the way up the line to OT8. So Jennifer's my age. I'm 43. She's like, so she's OT8 now. So for me, personally being a staff member is the most economical and incredibly rewarding way to go up the bridge. I want to point out that even as a staff member, you have to pay anything above clear. You still have to pay to do. Like, right. You get, you get half off, but you're, you still have to pay, even though you're working for Scientology full-time. Mm -hmm. Okay. And imagine, tell, this is just proof that people are told one of the reasons to join staff is so that Scientology will be cheaper for you. Okay. That's not, if that's not an option, and also depending on where you live and various factors, I advise just getting yourself on course weekly and making flows. Making flows is a Scientology euphemism money. for regularly donating money. Uh. Okay, making flows just for your next step. Don't allow the thoughts of the entire bridge to overwhelm the idea of doing your next step. So I love this because she's acknowledging that the bridge is so expensive that to your average Scientologist, the idea of ever being able to pay for it is overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Just doing Scientology and getting yourself trained is going to make you more able to work out the financial side of things. Make, make flows just as you would rent payments or other bills. You could set up a certain percentage, and this is one where I'm re I'm really sad that I'm not that I don't have them in the right order. Do you want me? But, no, yeah, because I won't. We won't know where. It, like I could look and see what I sent you, but I don't. Oh know. wait, oh wait. He, okay, I, I I got them. They were just in the reverse order. So she goes. Um, no matter hey. what, do the next step. The rest will work out. For my clear package. Oh my god, I didn't even read this. For my clear package, I had a lending club loan. What does that mean? What's a club loan? I don't know exactly, but she's just admitting she went into debt. This person is a person who's been working for Scientology since she was a teenager, and she had to take on debt just to pay for her auditing to go clear. This is the shit you're supposed to be able to get for free. Yep. Okay. I had a lending club loan. I went clear and paid down my loan while my husband did the SRD. That's the survival rundown. That's the new objectives auditing package. What's amazing is that her husband has been OT since before they were ever married. And this is just an example of him, him having to go back to the bottom of the bridge and redo everything. Thanks to David Miscavige. Also, if he was OT, he should be more financially set to pay for her clear package without having to get a loan. That's according to them guys. The more you, the higher you go up the bridge, the more financially set you are. She just said that. Yes. And never mind the fact that Steve Latch originally did his OT levels when he was a teenager because his parents are ridiculously wealthy. Steve Latch inherited a ton of money, but apparently he gave it all to Scientology because he couldn't even afford to pay for his wife's auditing. It's insane. That is insane. Uh, okay. This week I paid my loan off. I took out a loan on my house. Oh my. Oh, wow. My house had doubled in value, so it was perfect. Well, that must be thanks to her OT powers. It couldn't be because she lives in San Francisco. No, it's the powers. Get it okay. right. I ended up selling that house. 
My house paid for my OT levels. Wow. <laughs> so we're homeless, but I am on my OT levels, guys. Then the OT levels gave me the theta power needed to double my income. Oh, my God. I can't believe she said it. This is awesome. I love these. I love this gift to the world that we're giving Aaron. This is amazing. I wonder what Osa thinks of this stuff. <laughs> I pulled in $50,000 from an inheritance because the money was at another advanced orgs account. This went to my husband's bridge. Oh, wow. That means Wait. she pulled in someone Somebody dying. dying? <laughs> She's saying, thank God one of my Scientologist relatives died. Dropped that body. So I could use the money they died with before they could use the money on their account. And which that is helped. so uncool because that oh person is God. intending to come back and get their money. That's right. Why are you spending their money when they're going to reincarnate and you, they're supposed to use that money in the future to come back and they shouldn't have left it to anybody. Did they leave it to somebody? They're supposed to say, don't be touching that money. I'll be right back. That's right. They didn't even will her the money. Scientology just let her have it. That's messed up. That person, you guys, I feel bad for that being. They're going to come back. They're going to have to start all over. They're going to be all poor because this lady, I pulled in. That's really a bad, that's bad form. That's bad yeah. taste. She's like, Grandmama only had a few years left to live anyway. Nobody was really sad when she got hit by that truck because I got 50K for the bridge, and that's what really matters. It was the greatest good. Yeah. Okay, it gets better took out another loan. Oh my God. This is starting to sound like Dan O'Connorville. <laughs> Dan and Jen are actually really good friends. I believe that 100%. <sighs> took out another loan for the IAS. That's the International Association of Scientologists. Now, here's what's crazy, guys. When you give money to the IAS, you're not getting anything in exchange. You're not getting auditing. You're not getting training. She, she and her husband clearly don't have enough money to pay for the auditing they need, but they're still just turning over, take, going into debt to turn over money to Scientology. At least if they're going into debt to buy auditing, they're buying something that they personally feel is valuable to them in a spiritual sense. I mean, at least that's what Scientologists feel, right? This Isn't is an the example. the lowest form of exchange? It's like something right. for nothing. It's right. It is the lowest form of exchange. A couple and it also, shows, it also shows that the organization itself doesn't care if you have paid for your bridge, they just want the free money. They're like, no, 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 no. Because if you pay for your bridge, that goes to the local organization. And the, I, none of that money flows up to the IAS. The IAS is like, no, no, no. We need our peace directly. Yep. That's pretty okay. sick, guys. Right this second, I need to work out more money for the rest of husband's bridge. Are you effing kidding me? You just, you just gave say? money to, um, she said, at this moment, I need to work out more money for the rest of husband's bridge. And now the kids, but you just gave money to Scientology. You should have paid for your bridge. Well, you know, I think that's, a, I mean, I don't know. Cause I was never loaded enough for this, but why do they do that? Aaron? That's a, that's a true question from me to you. Why do they, I see people do that who can't pay for their bridge, but they, is that like forced on them? They will take out a loan for the IAS guys, which is just like, would be no different. If you were just donating it to a charity, you get nothing out of it. You're yeah. not get that uh, giving to the IAS is not paying for your bridge. You get no services. That's a separate thing. That's got nothing to do with you getting anything in return. But you, why do you they get do a that? Fancy before? Pin. You get a fancy pin and you get a trophy. And if you donate enough money, you get your photo taken with David Miscavige. I and did. It Makes you an official dick swinger. And Huxley got a onesie that said IAS for life or whatever. It's a lifetime member. Wow. Okay, so this one does continue. Here. She goes, I made the kids a part of this. It was their product. Product, that would be like saying uh, they 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 accomplished it. It was, a, it was their very well done. Yeah. It, it was my husband's product and it was my drive. There was no windfall of money. I just became more successful. The dead person, but yeah. They did get a windfall of grandma's dead grandma's money. Who ran out of wind. Uh, I just became more successful the more time I spent going up the bridge. Oh, my God. Do you know what it just occurred to me? If she's trying to tell herself this story. Let's, ha let's, let's, let's talk this through. 
would Scientology make more money if they created their own financial institution to give loans to their members or less? Because I was thinking they could get into the business of banking, essentially making bank loans. But the fact is a lot of these Scientologists who take out loans to give it to Scientology end up defaulting on their loans and declaring bankruptcy. So maybe Scientology doesn't want to get into the financing game because they, they know that they're over leveraging their members anyway. So that's kind of a losing game. Probably so. They would yeah. rather you just go and take it out yeah. at the club bank or whatever she called it. Lending club. Okay. When I walked home on OT7, I turned to my husband and I said, <laughs> now you, Steve. I feel like I was there. The way you just. <laughs> <laughs> he was salivating. What? What? Gross. What were you covered in catnip? What's going on? That took a dark turn quickly. Go see a doctor if he's just walking around salivating. He's just foaming at the mouth. Could be rabies. I'm uncomfortable with this whole thing. Ugh. He was salivating and he ran with the same momentum going through all of his training and OT preps and got onto seven in 12 months. Wow. What the a bridge weird is ass description. <laughs> This is the sort of over the top, honestly, like multi-level marketing propaganda that Scientologists use to convince each other. Just keep going. Just go to one more training yeah. seminar. Just, just, just never give up. <laughs> Sell you your home it. and your children on Craigslist. You can just, get this done. Just buy your next package. Oh my God. It's almost like she was trying to sell herself on this, like convince herself. She'll have to start selling herself to pay down these debts. Well, I guess that depends on what you're into. I don't know what this woman looks like. They're going to create, oh my God, how many Scientologists do you think are secretly on OnlyFans to pay for their bridge? Other than Tampa Brad and his wife. I mean, I can't be judgy. I, I would like to start one myself, but I have too many fat flaps. I don't know who would be into it. I've been thinking about it for a long time if this YouTube doesn't work out. <laughs> Somebody would be into me eating Chinese noodles or something naked. You could do the mukbangs. You could do the mukbangs where you just live stream, like just shoveling food into your mouth. People, some people are into that kind of stuff. Actually, a lot yeah, of people are. I hope that they'd be into my fat flaps too. I just don't know. I got I to do like a survey or something, but we'll you see. You don't we'll see. have to stuff your face while naked. People will pay just to watch you stuff your face. No, they won't. Who would do that? Just go sit down at any restaurant. Go to a buffet. You can watch anybody stuff their face. Just look it up, Reese. Just look it up. Why, You'll Aaron? See. Is that or how do you know so much, Aaron? <laughs> because I'm a full-time YouTube watcher. This is this is the this is the stuff that you run into. And and um, yeah, look at people in the live chat. Yes, they will. Yes, they will. <laughs> and okay. he he is right. Oh, and you know, somebody just said, how are your feet? I have been told by multiple people, I have very feminine, shapely feet, guys. I have high arches and they're all my toes are like the right size. I don't have like a gross one that hangs over the others. I'm kind of, I, I got fangled. I got fangled toes. I got, you know, yeah. I could see that about you. All right. So, so hold on. The bridge is not for the faint of heart. It's not flowers nor butterflies. Uh, <laughs> well, when you have to take out like, high interest loans from the mafia just to pay for it. You know, you do have to have a bit of a backbone. Yeah. Yeah. She's not yeah. selling me on this. This is for sure. It's between the salivating and I'm on comp yeah. guys. She says it's work. It's the hardest work you'll ever do on your entire whole track. Some days are so rough that you want to give up. You want to take a break. You want to go do something else. You tell yourself you are fine where you're at. You're not supposed to say shit like this. <laughs> That's why I love that we have it. I yeah. love that I was kept in this group for another few hours. Idiots. She She's like, as Tom Cruise would say, you want to go romp and play. I want to romp. I want to play. But that is the mechanism of the bank to break you, to keep you bound by the engrams and false ideas and whatever else makes up the trap. If you knew what was on the other side, everything else, and I mean everything else, See, now I can't find the rest of the damn post. <laughs> you have to. I have to know how this ends. 
Okay, hold on. Nope, that's it. <laughs> you probably sent it to me, but I got all this stuff out of order. That sucks, guys. I know. I'm sorry. But How you see, are we going to do these going forward if they're out of order? But look, those kind of mysteries where she was about to say, if you knew what was on the other side, everything else, and I mean everything else, would pale. You would sell your own mother. It's that kind of stuff that as a young little Scientologist – kept me going, oh my God, the OT levels must really be magic because oh. everyone says the same thing. It's the ultimate carrot. I said in therapy today, I believed because they made it seem like everybody uh, that was OT8 had telekinesis like John Travolta and Phenomenon. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. I thought they were just like moving stuff around with their mind. That's how they make it sound. Do they not, Aaron? They make it sound uh like it is just the land of magicians and wizards. Absolutely. The next one's pretty great. It's short and um, anonymous post. Moms, I just wanted to ask you if you had any tips on helping your child lose weight. <laughs> My child is young and I want to keep it light and fun. Keep the child light? Uh, she might want to consider not force feeding him Twinkies and Ho Hos with a steel funnel and a spring loaded push rod. Oh, that's terrible. That's what they do to geese when you eat foie gras. I mean, she's literally turning her son into a, a fatty goose, a fatty livered goose. Makes me think of Augustus Gloop from Willy Wonka. Um, Augustus, a save some room for later. Amy recommends. Sleep, hydration, and an increase in protein. Well, you might consider a decrease as well in overall caloric intake uh, because it's not science. It's a child. Stop letting them eat anything and everything they want at all hours of the night. And I wish this wasn't an anonymous post because I would pull up the profile of the parent and I guarantee you um, either the parent is a, it, insanely skinny or the parent is themselves overweight. And like either either the the parent is like has a eating disorder and her child is only normal sized and she thinks say, her child's big. I would say the parent is extremely skinny. A lot of sign new age Scientologists I feel like are very into like all the berg stuff and salads and like being really thin. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I don't know. I wish I would have commented on that post and just said like a lot of, you know, lean protein and I would do a pure if once a month. Yep, absolutely. Now, yeah. this mom clearly doesn't know the number one weight loss plan for all Scientologists, which is join the Sea Org. Well, do you I mean, is are people are there any chubby people in the Sea Org? There's a few, but they have to really, really work at it. OK, so you're pretty much. You have five minutes to eat. You shower with no soap. So you're just pretty thin and smelly. Yeah. I mean, there's some Sea Org members that as soon as they get into that cafeteria, they go right for the bread and the butter. And it's just nom, 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 nom. Okay. Well, let's not judge too harshly because that would be me. Yeah. So chill I'm looking out. at you, Sean Collins. Okay. You're looking at me, actually, because I, <laughs> I, I love bread and butter. I love bread and butter as well. I just know when to put it down. Mm -hmm. I mean... It's hard to continue to be morbidly obese in the Sea Org, but the International Justice Chief, Mike Ellis, has figured out how to do it somehow. Good for Mike. Have you, have you seen a... I mean, I'm not... Have you seen a photo? No. I can't bring it up here. It's I, I, I can't. I can't. Anyone in the live chat, Google Mike Ellis, International Justice Chief Scientology. You're not going to believe what you say. Is all I'm well, saying. that's not, you shouldn't be saying all this because if we get back in and we do our steps to get back in, he's our only contact, you know. He is our only terminal. Mike Ellis, I'm sorry. Please don't take it personally. Yeah. So when we come back, Mike, Aaron didn't mean it. Um, God, I really wish I could find, there was one here asking for help because their children keep stealing things. What? I, and I can't find the beginning of the post. I can only find how it ends. Should I pull up the, the back half of it? Oh, my God. Um, okay, I'll pull it up. They, they don't name the kid or anything. 
yeah, I, if and later if I find the beginning, I'll I'll pull that up as well. So it was basically like, what do I do? My son keeps stealing wallets, and he stole my husband's wallet, and my son's wallet. Too much money for my son to have, and then started searching for the wallet itself. This is a big overt, and I want him to have the correct ethics gradient in regards to it. But I do not want to be too harsh because we want him to feel like he can trust us in communicating his overts to us. Okay, so how how do you explain what this? sentence means to um non-scientology folk big overt i want him to have the correct ethics ratings in regards to but i do not want to be too harsh because we want him to feel like he can trust um so uh, guys an overt is a transgression or something that you did that was not ideal so stealing would be an overt um right. and i want him to have the correct ethics gradient is um you know why am it i means, explaining this You're we so want to make because I want to include you, Reese. I value your input. And oh um, my good sweet stars, you guys. He's so basically, we basically we, we want to hurt him, but we don't know. We, we don't want to hurt him too bad. We don't want to pound him so hard that yeah, he's he doesn't trust us anymore. But we want him to refeel the burn and remember the burn, but just not yes. too scarred. Yeah. Anonymous would like us all to know that he thinks we spent way too much time in the beginning of the video chatting with each other, and he would appreciate it if we did not do that in the future. Thank you, Anonymous. <laughs> I will take that to heart for sure. Um, uh, I couldn't yeah, help it. Definitely. Okay. So the mom's like, this is a big over, right? This is a really big, bad thing. And we want basically, we want to discipline him appropriately enough, but we don't want to discipline him too harsh because we want him to feel like he can still open up to us. At the same time, we don't trust him anymore. By the way, they haven't made it clear if this is like a five-year-old or like a 15-year-old. But they have made it clear, like, we want to starve him and lock him in a closet. We just don't know how long to do it yeah. for. Yeah. We want to follow L. Ron Hubbard's example and lock him in the chain locker for a few days. But we don't want him to stop loving us. <laughs> we want him to still need us. Yeah. We do not trust him anymore. And he has a lower condition to move up from before we trust him again. It's very hard to explain lower conditions very, very quickly. But it's basically you have to make amends and ask for permission to rejoin the group and all this kind of stuff. We discussed with my husband the approach we want to take with him tonight. Both of our sons are familiar with the way to happiness precepts. Once well fed and rested, we're going to read number 13. Do not steal to him. And invite him to come forward with anything he might be withholding. This sounds like pure hell. This does sound like pure hell. They are going to ruin this kid. Do you guys agree? This is this is really bad. Yeah. It, laughing aside, like this is really bad. This is going to scar this kid. He's yeah. going to be in juvie. They're going to have to send him out. They're going to send have to send him out. This is why Scientology ended up having all those ranches, like the Mace Kingsley Ranch and the Jehovah's Academy. Um, Jehovah's, what am I talking about? Mojave Academy uh, is Scientologists when they're when their kids do like the most relatively minor things, they freak out and send their kids off to Scientology uh, reconditioning camps. It's like it's like I've known Scientology families who because they caught their kid smoking a doobie, they send them off to a thirty thousand dollar Narconon rehab program. It's like you're literally going to educate your kid in how to be an addict by having them go to rehab where there's actual drug addicts. It's almost like they treat these programs as like scared straight program. Absolutely. I just found out that happened to my sister that she like was smoking cigarettes at 15. And my dad said, I don't know the rest of the story, but she just told me this, that he said to her, I'm going to have to, he was going to send her to the ranch school. He said, I'm going to send you to the ranch school. He said, because you're not a part of the team anymore. Wow. That's what they do. This is how this, this poor kid's life is going to end up. Wow. There are like six different SP TV channels live right now. <laughs> really? How do you know that? Who? I just pulled up my subscriptions. I, I just think it's amazing. I think it's, I think it's awesome. I think it's awesome that we've gotten so big that like, there's really like people should, I, I mentioned Whoops. I'm not I'm mentioning it as a positive thing. I think it's cool that there's so many people doing lives so much. Um oh, wow. okay, let's keep reading this. Um if he does not come forward with anything he might be withholding, we we will confront him with the exact facts and inform him that we're not okay with this. 
I wanted to find out with you if any of you've had to deal with a similar situation and how you did it successfully. Thanks in advance. I have so many thoughts. Please share them with the group, Aaron. She already freaking told everybody what they're going to do. So why is she asking people for advice on what to do? Like, and, and why is it that all these Scientology moms are supposed to have the Scientology tech for how to handle life, but all they do is ask each other for advice on how to handle their problems? Yes. That is such a good point that he's making there, guys. If you watch any, because none of you really were in it, but if you watch any like PR crap, like it makes me think of John Travolta whenever he does those interviews and he's like, it's just the tools for life. And what does he say? He's like, read, uh, what's that main book? What is Scientology? Is that the book? I've never read that one. Sure. What is Scientology? Scientology handbook. Yeah. The handbook. He's like, it has every, every question answered in it. Like they make it sound so smooth. They sell it so smoothly. Like it's every tool you can imagine at your fingertips to smooth over and solve things. Then why is she posting this? I know. Why is the other lady like, how can I get my kid to lose weight? <laughs> I know. Teresa from Mitten makes a really good point things. here. She yes, wants to be Teresa. told she's right. It's funny because it's this is the opposite of the humble brag. This is my child is a criminal. And I just want you guys to tell me that I'm fixing him correctly. But how have you fixed your criminal children with Scientology? Yeah. By the way, what do you think she pulled in? Uh, what, what do you think she did to pull in a little klepto as a child? Yeah, I was thinking that too, you little DB crim. What are you doing getting kleptomaniacs? Oh, take, my him to the, take him to the ranch. Uh, you know, I'll tell you, one of the things, this is a really... Uh, for me, this is a little insightful, insightful into me. As a Scientology child, there was so much shame associated with doing the littlest things that as a father with three daughters, when it's almost like I get what more upset. Hell? How is that May, there? Did you do that? Is, is someone commenting from your channel? Yes. That wasn't me. Yeah, but... Who's is, 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 uh, is Jeff commenting, logged into your channel and commenting, not realizing he's not logged in as himself. Oh, yep. Jeff says that was me. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Babe. Okay. You scared the ever living right out of me. So check this out. I'll get more upset at my kids over the small stuff than the big stuff. Um, because the small stuff, I can't help myself. You know, the dishes not being done, homework not getting turned in. Like that stuff pisses me off. And, and I feel like a parent should get pissed off at things like that. But when it's big stuff, I have the exact opposite reaction. I go, I do not want my kid to feel shame. And I'll go, look, it's not that big of a deal. Life goes on. The sun will come up tomorrow. Yes. And I go like, and, and without giving details, there's some conversations I've had where I'm like, look, what you did is not so much of a problem as what the consequences could be for getting caught doing what you did. I said, I just want you to understand, like, I want to set them up for life. Like sometimes things are a bigger deal than they really are. And I don't want you, well, so on the, I don't want them to feel shame. And I also don't want them to be afraid to come to their parents and be like, okay, I'm in trouble. This is what happened. Yes. If Do you know that, what I mean? That is, yeah, I know. I was just to say, Aaron, I totally am on what you just said. I understand 100%. And I think we're better parents because of, uh, we understand that really well. I wouldn't give details either, but I had a similar situation with Huxley. This was last year. And this year he just came to me and he remembers it. And he was like, whew, he was like, we dodged a bullet. I'm glad that we talked about that. And like, he, he really thought it through and he was saying like, I realized the consequences of what that would have looked like had I gone through with that. I'm glad I didn't. Like, it, I just remove the shame. Like, remove that. Yeah. But if someone spills grape juice on the carpet, I'm going to hit the fucking roof. <laughs> okay. Can we talk about that for a minute? I'm being serious. Can we talk about that for a minute? I want to know something and I'm being serious. What? what? I want to know if this is a Scientology reaction. I really want to know this. This is so weird that you bring this up. Three or four days ago, I was making a kale smoothie. I spilled the kale everywhere and I lost my ever loving mind. I was so mad. Okay, fine, whatever. Last night I made a, oh, I forgot about that. I got to get that out of the fridge. I made a really good pasta salad. Okay. I added in my black 
olives. I got my pimentos. I got my feta cheese. You know the works, right? It's coming from a chubby person. I know how to do this. And I'm Italian. So I put that in and I go to the drawer to get a fork and it's the Costco feta cheese. So it's the big one. Okay. And I went, oh, and I like almost, it almost slipped out of my hand. So I had to grab it and the cheese, you know, feta cheese. Okay. It went all over each slot of the silverware drawer. I was on fire. I was so mad that I couldn't even really make a sound. I just said that didn't just happen. Like that didn't, that didn't just happen. Like I, it's overwhelming how much that just happened. There were cheese crumbles everywhere. Okay. Hold on. I'm being serious. I had to walk away. I was so mad. Like I was so mad at myself and I did the Scientology reaction and I thought immediately, what did I just do in my environment to basically pull that in was almost how I felt. Hold on. I was in therapy today. Okay. And I was talking about this because I overreact so much when things like that happen. Like you just said, somebody steals grape juice. And I thought of something when I was little, I broke a plate and I remember all the time my dad's reaction, I, his veins would pop out of his neck. And I remember him screaming at me over this plate. And then I cognited is a word in Scientology or had an epiphany today that my therapist said, he goes, how did that make you feel? And I said, terrified. I was terrified of my dad. He was flaming angry all the time. If we made mistakes, Aaron, I think this is, he said, he goes, you know, it's not normal for people to get, I said, no, not everybody flips out when they break or something like that. And he said, no, he said, your dad was placing more importance on things than the relationship with you. Ooh. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. It gets better. And I was like, oh my God, that was interesting, but hold on. I realized he was like, try to be more like mindful. Is this a Scientology thing? Because I explained how the breakdown of matter, energy, space, and time. And in Scientology, you have to be in control of your environment. You really do. And if you do something like that, you went the effect. Am I wrong here? Because I flip out when stuff like that happens. I actually think Aaron, the guys in the, in the chat right now, the non-Scientologists, I don't think that's a real thing. I think it's just a Scientology thing. Does your so wife do that? Well, sh I'm the one who flips out over things like that. My wife's the opposite. But in my house, me growing up as a child, my mom would fucking hit the roof yes. for things like that. My dad, too, literally yeah. flip. Like, I would want to run and hide under a table. I would watch yeah. the veins pop out. His eyes got huge. He'd start screaming. And it's it, the the point that your therapist made is actually um, uh, uh, deeply insightful that it's putting yes. more value on that relatively worthless object than on you as a person and the relationship and your feelings. That requires a little bit of soul searching because I it, it's funny like if like it happened just a few days ago like um, uh, one of the kids was supposed to be doing the uh, emptying the dishwasher and they were sort of purposely you know being uh, careless and lazy about it and then they dropped something and they broke a glass jar and i just was like what the fuck me too and, but if it was my wife my wife would be like it's okay it's okay um now my wife was on a camping trip so daddy was in charge uh and one of my one of my other girls had to come in and be like it's 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 fine we're going to clean it up calm down calm down i just get so irrationally upset me at too. relatively minor things like that me too but i'll get upset even if i do it Oh, me too. Last time yeah. I had to walk away. I had to like go give myself a locational over the feta cheese. I had to walk <laughs> away from it. I was like, I can't think about this right now. I can't think about it. I'm not going to yeah. look at it. Yeah. And then poor Jeff, because he's so old and he can't see. I was like, go open the door and take a look in there. And he opened it and he was like, what? <laughs> I was like, do you not see the snow everywhere all over the silverware? There's cheese everywhere. And he was like, oh, so big deal. Like, yeah. I was like, yeah, see, I think this is a Scientology thing because I was talking about it in therapy today and I was like touching my face. I was all mad. I could feel myself getting mad still about it. So I get mad at myself, but I also remember Huxley breaking a glass milk bottle like six months ago. And I did the same thing. I was like, God damn it. I was like screaming. Now I feel terrible about that. Now, once I thought about it today and broke it down, putting more importance on things in the relationship, what do we do in Scientology? Everything is conditional. There is no unconditional love. So, yeah. I mean, that's bigger than breaking this, but like it does tie more importance 
and putting more emotion into the thing than like, and he even said, he goes, no Reese, that's not normal for a parent to do that. And he said, everybody knows you shouldn't break a plate. He goes, but it happens. He was like, we all know, you know, don't break that, but it happens. Like we should be prepared more than flip out. Yeah. What do you think? I think that's a Scientology thing. I just don't know uh, oftentimes whether to uh, lay responsibility more at, um, well, it's also hard to differentiate my upbringing from Scientology because my upbringing was Scientology. It is Scientology. It's all you know. I thought about that today too. I was like, it's all I know. And I don't, so I guess what I should really say there is I don't know how much of the learned behavior I got from my mom uh, should be placed at the feet of Scientology or at the feet of her own upbringing. Exactly. It's one or the other. I don't know either. Because she wasn't but raised I, in Scientology. Okay. I mean, you it could just be a, a rage anger thing, guys. I'm sure there's non-Scientologists that do the same thing. I'm not saying it's only Scientology. I'm sure it's an anger thing. But I did say to him today, because I really want to do better. I really want to climb out of this and unpeel each piece and be aware, be more cognizant. And I said, so I guess I just need to be more in control of my emotions. And he went, he went, control is kind of a strong word. He's, and then he like paused and he said, I would just try to be more mindful like when that happens, like kind of take a step back and realize don't put so much importance on that. Like, of yeah. course, you didn't mean to do that. Nobody means to do that. But like, let's just clean it up and move on. Yeah. I liked that. Makes yeah, me think yeah, more yeah. going forward. Anyway, I thought that was interesting because I didn't know that until you just said that you're similar in that reaction too. like flipping yeah. out. Totally. Kind of irrationally. Anyway, moving to the on. But to the point where sometimes I just ask myself, why am I always in a bad mood? Like, like, I'll be like, what, what does, what's the deal, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but anyway. Okay. Well, we can so, talk more about that sometime. <laughs> I think we should. Let's talk about it right now. No. <laughs> mm -hmm. Why are we um, such okay, hot so, heads? So, uh, okay. There's helping your child lose weight, which to me is one of the funniest things because I've seen the heaviest Scientology kids and nobody wants to invalidate them by telling them that maybe that's not healthy. Uh, but here you go. How do I make my child lose weight? Um, Read pep. Okay, I'm trying to find some ones that aren't kind of boring. Wow. Okay, let's look at this one. I don't know if this is a continuation of the one that we were already reading or not. I cannot quite tell, but okay. Again, guys, Scientology moms, the tech can save the broken. You just want to have it bad enough and show up. When the kids were three years old and six years old, a week after moving to flag, I routed on course doing all the basics, solo one, student Here we hat, go. PTSSP, pro TRs, upper index, flag metering, level zero. I went Swing to course. Dick. Okay, now imagine she's got a three-year-old and a six-year-old. And she says, I went to course at 7 p.m. and was the last to leave at 11 p.m. every single day except Sundays. So she doesn't put her kids to bed because she's too busy studying L. Ron's words. Wow. Okay, I never missed a course period. I did that training in nine months. I decided with my children and husband, there was no more important thing for me to do in life than learn to be happy deep down without the lies. <laughs> so she basically had the whole family agree that studying L. Ron Hubbard was more important than the family itself. And family time. There you go. Putting it's putting importance on that's what I mean. There, it's conditional love. Yeah. Once I finished training, I did my auditing at nights from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. I made myself available. In two months, I was on my OT levels. I audited at night from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m., never missing a day, no excuses. Eight months later, I was on OT7. It's always about bragging about <laughs> OT7. What is this about? What is this post about other than me, 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 me? I made the kids part of this. It was their product. It was my husband's product. So she's basically saying, you kids are the ones who got me onto OT7 by basically not complaining about me being absent all the time. I made the kids part of this. Yeah. 
So essentially, but so that they wouldn't complain, you said, oh, you're doing, uh, so this isn't what I'm doing. You're doing it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. There's an Evelyn Cardone thing here. Oh, we've, I think we've done that one before. Oh my God. This is funny. Okay. Here we go. Again, in a Scientology mom's group, what are your successful actions for paying for the bridge? <laughs> There only fans, only uh, feet. Okay, let's not judge again because I might start one of those tonight. Jeff, you cool with this? Um, I think I screenshot. I hope you have the extras on this one. I screenshot the comments. I'm pretty sure on this. Well, even if I don't have them in sequence ready to go, we'll we'll, we'll find them. You know. Okay, because I screenshot a lot of com comments on this one. I remember I did. Okay, I'm genuinely curious how everyone pays for the bridge. And I thought this would be a great thread to share tips. Uh, Jeff's like, fire it up. What kind of husband? That was a trick question, Jeffrey. Go on. <laughs> I thought this would be a great th thread to share tips and advice to help others and myself. Do you save money? Do you pay over time? Do you put it on credit? Any tips and advice would be awesome you know even the religions that were dollars but here's the thing even the religions that actually require tithing people go oh my god that's so terrible scientology's worse these guys are going into debt at least in tithing you're only giving a percentage of what you actually make these guys are having to come up with exponentially more money than they even earn in order to turn and turning it over to way scientology more. yes way more money this is sad, you guys, but it's also so great to me that we have it to show you because this is this is behind the curtain. You'll never see this. Aaron, how would you find this? You would never find this on the Internet. You'll You'd never, never see this anywhere else. We need some new uh, Facebook spies. So uh, do your do your best work, Internet. Um, OK, Sarah Hollingsworth, you name it. We've done it. You know what that <laughs> means. Only fans. Uh, she's making rendezvous behind the dumpster at the Seven Eleven to earn some extra cash for the bridge. Well, why do you have to do it there? I thought I could do it from my living room. Do I have to go to a Seven Eleven to do this to get naked? It just expands the customer base if you don't have to bring them into your home. Is I thought it was a safe thing. I thought OnlyFans was for safety reasons. I don't know. Ask I don't Sarah. Any STDs? Sarah. Sarah can tell you because if you name it, we've done it. The only thing we haven't done is inherent is inheritance and lottery. Though the lottery is looking good. Oh, so she hasn't asked somebody to die to pull in that inheritance. Well, good for her, Sarah. She's not OT enough to get one of her family members to drop the body so she can take their money on account. You have to get up to the higher OT levels to 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 you know get that ability. To smother someone with a pillow. Yeah. Um, oh, look. Yep. You got, you did capture all the responses. Yes. Holy you found them. Cow. Oh, it's yes. good. It's gold. Yes, yes, you yes. guys, this is great. Scientologists in the wild right here. Here we go. From what I recall, best to go over it all with a registrar. That's a Scientology fundraiser who knows all of the ways. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And and if you don't train or co-audit, you can still receive quads with a student auditor. This is just too much Scientology speak to define. Um, and then once you have the survival rundown in, you can at least be on some kind of training and start receiving full grades as a PC with an auditor on the internship. So there are ways to make it easier financially, but always, always just do the next step. There you go. Aaron said it. That's what they do. Just, yeah. just do the next thing. Just keep going. Flows, Aaron, flows. Yeah. Lynn Kleinschmidt is in favor of just paying a little bit over time until magically you have enough money to cash it in for an intensive. Uh, Rami Ed agrees. Flows and the occasional make it go right. Well, if only she had known that she what? was supposed to make it go right. And the occasional make it go right. Are you just making it go wrong then when you're not doing that? Are you an American or are you an American? <laughs> make it go right. Um, okay, this is still on the, th the same thread. I realized Catholics are supposed to flow 10% of their earnings each week to their collection plate at church. That's such horseshit. That's not true. Why would the I know that? I don't know. The collection plate is for whatever you want to put in. Oh, really? No. 
the I Mormons like require the tithing. Uh, no, the, I'm pretty the, sure Jeff was supposed to with Methodists. Okay, Catholics in the live chat. Are you supposed to, Catholics in the live chat? Are you supposed to pony up 10% in the collection plate? Is that how that works? Not Why even would a Scientologist true. even post this? They don't know. Yeah. Okay, everybody's um, saying yeah now. Catholics don't tithe, someone said. Yeah, Catholics don't tithe. That's I'm Mormons tithe. I don't know if Jehovah's Witnesses do or not, but I know the Mormons do. I adopt okay, so this Scientologist adopted the same mindset, but for my eternity. Oh, this is sick. So some lame. of my flows were small and some were big. She's not talking about the monthly flow. Okay. I was gonna say that's what I went to. As I got closer to a target, I would come up with more games for myself. Then I would focus on the next game. So at first it was to secure my preps. That's OT preps. Then it was through OT3. Then it was the auditing to get onto OT7. There that's it how is. I, that's how I put my entire bridge in place. So when I arrived at Thanksgiving, I was fully paid. It sounds like she Instead was Instead of spending it with my family, I arrived yeah. at Thanksgiving. Wow. It took me two and a half years of prioritizing this over all other purchases and having go. my reg as my favorite terminal in the world are what made it possible. Terminal means like your favorite person. Yeah, it's a person. Terminal is a person. It's just fancy when you're in a cult. Um, yeah. So she prioritized and put everything first into Scientology, guys. Wow. So no, okay. no family vacations, no nothing. Yeah. Well, the next post is another Scientology parent who just cannot figure out what to do about their, their one-year-old. Um, oh, okay. So it's clearly they pulled in lazy. a total out ethics DB crim baby. Lazy. Let's hear it. Let's hear this lazy little bum. Okay. My one-year-old is fighting us at bedtime, hysterical, Static. screaming and crying, begging to go outside. We did taking care of babies at four months and have no real or lasting sleep regressions. But now it's so different and very interbulating trying to put them to sleep for bedtime and naps. I've tried CalMag I, on a one-year-old? That's disgusting. This kid is 12 months old and he's crying at night and begging to go outside. He needs to be more responsible than this. I'm really disappointed. He needs to get his ethics in. It's really disappointing. I've tried B1. Have we done this one before? Yeah, I think we have. It's still it's still the same. Hilarious, though. But we can skip it. Um. Well, not everyone who's watching us now watched us before. That's but. true. So let's just do it. I've also given them a locational in the room before putting them down. What other tools can I try? I don't want them to be upset like that for hours. So um, that's a great... What does John Travolta say? What do all these celebs say when they're promoting Scientology, Aaron? It just teaches you the tools for life. You can't get right. your kid to go to bed. Yeah. Uh, now, look, I know, you know, moms and new families have problems with kids, but to, uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm like, if your kid wants to go outside, take Not the kid that, outside. But, like, but, but honestly, have, for the love of you Google this. But, but like, for the love of God, like, why fight the kid? I mean, look, I I never had problems dealing with the kids because I didn't treat them as objects that had to be controlled and manipulated. It was kind of like if the kid was really if, – if the kid's being that much of a terror and doesn't want to go to sleep, then don't make them go to sleep. Why, why fight it? No, look, I know you're going to get tons of opinions on any of these things. But it's like – Yeah, but by the time they're one, don't you kind of have somewhat of a routine down? You just do what needs to be done. I know some people that put their kid in a car and drove them around because they fell asleep in the car. I know. It's brilliant. You put on Door the Explorer and drive around until the kid falls asleep. Like, Yeah. It, like it's you better come than fighting with, with the something. kid. Huxley slept really well in one of those swings. He liked the swing. You come up with something by the time they're 12 months old. Yeah. The best way I've found to put a child to sleep is to have them listen to an L. Ron Hubbard lecture. That t that tends to put any Scientologist to bed pretty quickly. Uh, that or you could make uh, homemade NyQuil popsicles. <laughs> yes. Come up with something. Okay. So I found one that seems to be a continuation of something we were reading before. And it's good enough that let's just jump in. This has to do with paying for the bridge. Oh, is this part of the... 
comments? Might have been. That I might have, okay. How to pay remember, for your bridge. Okay. We flowed and flowed and flowed. Scientologists heavy flow. <laughs> we borrowed against stocks. We paid it off. We sold another car. We bought intensives. Wasn't enough. But it was a wow. flow. We sold the stocks. Worked hard as an honest and exchange for employee. Uh, exchange for means going above and beyond and doing more than what is expected. Mm -hmm. Got a raise. Somehow, mysteriously and magically, I turned on the ability to make money on OT one through three. And I didn't have to borrow another penny to get onto OT six. I did have to borrow Nick. one single time. This is funny. Like she should have just left it at that. Right. So she, yeah, she earned probably. enough OT powers to not have to borrow any money up to OT six, but I guess her powers ran out because she did have to borrow money one time for her first CSing to get onto OT seven. Parallel Jen. Somebody said, what does flow mean? Making a flow is just sending money. So like yeah. flow, 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 just give a flow. Some people do like that. One person said they tithe. Um, yeah. but like anything is a flow. If you give money, that's right for some that that's, and that's, what so flow could be used a couple different ways. So in, in Scientology, if you're 2D flowing, that means you're flirting with someone. But if you make a flow, I don't know it used any other way other than giving money. That's right. In this sense, yeah. it, it just means always giving money. Yeah. Um, okay, so I can't even say where all the money came from, but I knew the bridge was more valuable to me than the dollars. So I did whatever I could. I found a, what? I found what? I I, I don't know, but what does she mean? I, I can't say where it all came from. Is this Jason Bateman in Ozark? Is she laundering it? Yeah, you can't say where it came from. That's The IRS might want to speak to you about the fact that you can't say where your money came from. Yeah, that seems concerning. That seems very Ozark. <clears throat> wow. Well, wow, wow. Those wow. were great. The this comments of the how to make how to pay for your bridge that I screenshot. There's a lot of them. Yeah. Um, okay, let's do one. Let's do one more here. So again, it's uh something we're used to seeing an OT7 humble brag. Oksana Pierce, I am a new OT7. Hey moms. I would love to see you guys going to your next steps and never stop. Well, Oksana, I got bad news for you. OT8 is the last level, so you're going to stop eventually. Yeah, eventually you will. I will share a few wins in several posts since I Please really do. care. <laughs> since I really care that you do move. Okay. Win number one. I am a simple Thetan now. Uh-oh. Wait, what? What does that mean? What the mean? hell was she before? Uh, Is this like Simple Jack? I don't know what that means, but Simple Phaeton. Simple Jack is from the movie Tropic Thunder. Ben Stiller plays a character, an actor who played a character called Simple Jack. They say never go full Simple Jack. If you were, does this not ring any bells? Did you not see the movie? No. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Jesus is right. Move on with your life. I am a simple Phaeton now. Took a lot of time to get rid of complexities and extras. Only by becoming simple uh, could I duplicate the simplicity of life. Before, I couldn't get it. It sounds like <laughs> you were more simple before, Oksana. Okay. Now life is simple. Scientology oh. is life. It is also simple. Why are we using this word so much? Hold on. Scientology's life is also simple. Okay. If it were so simple, then why is it so complex on how to pay for it? And why are we having to use this word so many times? Scientology has all the tools we need to make life simple. Jesus, Oksana. What? Okay. This shouldn't have been allowed to be posted. Scientology has all the tools we need to make life simple and enjoyable. Happiness, love, affinity. These are innate, simple. What a simpleton. What's going on? Is this a wow. joke? I feel like she's trolling us. 
These are innate, simple qualities we have as Thetans. We have them and we are good. So never forget that, Reese. Never forget. I don't think I will. Is this person on the OT levels, she said? Because I don't feel like she should have gotten an invite. This person's on this something, if you know what I'm saying. I think I know what you're saying. I'm very uncomfortable with this. Quote from L. Ron Hubbard from the 15th Advanced Clinical Course, Games mm. versus No Games, Lecture 9. Want to talk to you about the degeneration of a static. Once upon a time, there was a little Thetan, and he was a happy little Thetan. I don't know and what the next Somebody told is. him, I do. I know the quote. I was wondering why she was using simple so much. And then he says, and somebody called him simple. And since then, he's been trying to prove that he isn't. Yeah, don't you remember that, that? Yeah. You don't know that quote? No, staff members didn't worry about stuff like that. Oh. I remember it very well. <clears throat> okay. So there's, simple. if we're going to end, we have to end on this next one because this is a uh, showstopper. Okay. I'm totally fine. I have nowhere to be. So it's another be person. It's another person in search of a body. Oh man. These are so cringy. A friend has accepted my offer to post here anonymously. This friend is in great case shape, but the body will last perhaps two or three more months. Oh, that's really uncomfortable for me, okay? This person would like to know about who is pregnant with a baby of either gender and who and 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 is due in or around October. Oh my god, they're planning their death with whoever has oh an available body. My god. I don't remember screenshotting this. Wow. Okay. Holy shit. This person has been contributing for a good 50 years or so and has made it to the top of the currently available auditing side of the grade chart. Why in the world did they think it was necessary to specify they've only done the levels that are currently available? Uh, what does that mean? Up to OT8? Yeah, of course. Like, I mean, they're like, I just wanted to clarify they're not OT15 yet, they're not off on target two. Oh my God, this is so weird. This person has also completed the full basics lineup and plenty of other training as well. This person is very much looking forward to resuming study in an academy. That means they're looking forward to coming back and continuing their training in their next lifetime. The next family this person joins will be graced with a bundle of Theta. Wow. <laughs> Oh, man. This is Scientology That's... speak of saying this person's one of the good ones. Uh, you won't have a degraded criminal on your hands as a one-year-old that doesn't want to sleep. That only wants to go outside. You won't have that with this being. You're not going to have any kids stealing your wallets or um, hold being on. afraid of talking Why to the kids in school. Why is this so specific? Yeah. This person is going to die within two to three months. Anybody available in October to deliver? I mean, that is really down to the wire, guys. That's is that this October? I wonder. Is that this month? I, um, that's a good question. I'm also. It's also interesting to me that they don't actually care whether they come back next lifetime as a man or a woman. That's very progressive of them. Yeah, I always cared when I would go in session. I always wanted to make sure I was female again. Yes, Scientology body shopping is one of the weirdest things that doesn't get talked about often enough in my opinion yeah it's very weird it's very weird um yeah what do you guys think of this one that's really weird it makes me super uncomfortable it looks like the people are all creeped out just as much as we are are there other religions that do this or no because other religions believe in heaven or a hell they don't believe you're just picking up another baby body tomorrow and coming back as steve I don't know the answer to that. I mean, I assume it's just, but not all religions believe in heaven and hell, do they? Not all religions believe in a heaven or a hell, but they also, and again, you know, I'm no expert, but like even, I'm, I'm hesitant to even say anything because the chances of me misspeaking are quite great. Yeah, I mean, I just don't know. But like, even if you believe in like the Hindu idea of karma or whatever, it's not like whatever you come back as, it's almost like you're trying to level up lifetime to lifetime by living, you know, good, honest lives and stuff. It's not like anybody got a body for Steve in October. Yeah, that's, uh, 
I'm really he uncomfortable. Wants to come back in the Scientology family. <laughs> You'd have a bundle of Theta. Yes. Isn't that nice? Look, look at our little new little baby. Such a bundle of Theta. <gasps> I recognize him. I recognize that energy. That's Grandmama. That's Grandma. That's she was OTA. That's whose money you took. I look into those eyes. I see a basics completion. Oh. <laughs> Only the basics. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's, yeah, the guys, that's, that's the real deal. I don't even have much of a joke about that one because it's just so shocking. Um, we got, we yeah. got a being for you guaranteed to skip the implant station. Fresh, yeah. 100% certified fresh Thetan. Fresh Thetan. Not free coming range, from the forgetter box. Free range. Free range organic. Um, that did the OT levels. Yeah, guys. And then, so this doesn't make any sense because you see these posts, but then the next post is, our kid's a rotten little brat and he's three years old and we can't stand him and we're sending him to Mace Kingsley. Which is it? Yeah. Yeah. How come nobody uh, posted so far that like our kid is just a glorious little angel bird and we pulled him in from our friend Karen who died and he's back. Yeah. That's only Dan O'Connor does posts like that. That you know. and fax machines. Those are his forte. Fax slinger. Um, all fun. right. The only reason I'm trying to end off is because I'm trying to get some more. I, I'm, I'm trying to become a well-rested individual and it's hard for me to wind down at the end of the night. Uh, and so Good I'm trying to give you. myself more of a runway, more of a wind down runway. So you can watch and, YouTube. Um, and, and it's, it's, and it's working. It. It's been working the last, you know, three or four nights. I'm really happy to hear that DB stand for degraded body, mm -hmm. degraded being degraded being so criminal. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Um, Oh, okay, shoot. I forgot so about all these super chats. Let's jump through these. Um, Alana Esh Peter, so ready for these. I have a cleaner twice a month because I'm a nurse with kids and MS, not because I need to become an operating Phaeton. Yeah. Nothing wrong with cleaners, that's for sure. That's right, Alana. Keela McDonald, Reese, how was the kid's appointment today? I hope it went well. I love kid. All right, your cat. Love you, Aaron and Reese. Thanks for giving me this moment of levity. Uh, Keela, you didn't have to super chat for that, babe. You could have texted me. Kid actually got rescheduled. They called me this morning and it's okay because she hasn't peed anywhere else. So it's not really an emergency, but she's going again this week. Just didn't go today. Nice. Ken's channel, only fans relatable feet. That could work, Ken. I hope that you'll be there to support me with your $5. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Gary Gunnels, I've never heard of engrams outside of Star Trek. Did Star Trek get the idea from Hubbard? I actually think Hubbard might have gotten the idea from Gene Roddenberry. I can't remember if Gene Roddenberry was one of those people Hubbard knew back in the day. Um, I don't know the answer to that. The truth, the truth is, Gary, engrams is a real word, even in the medical field. It, it, it means trace on a cell, and that's actually where Hubbard took the word from. Now, there might have been other people. I think there is. Oh, someone did mention this in a live stream a few months ago. That there is in some other science fiction work, the word engram is used. And that's probably where Hubbard was introduced to the term, was through other science fiction or fantasy works. Um, hmm. So, yeah, there's okay. something to this, Gary. Uh, TCH loved the chatting in the beginning. Also loved the banter and Reese's sarcastic humor. Well, thank you, TCH. I think everybody likes the banter except that person that was named Anonymous. Exactly. Thank you for the anonymous criticisms. I didn't want to overreact and ban the person from the chat. So in response, I just highlighted their ridiculously stupid chat for everyone to see. So thank you. I think that's better. Lisa Marchbanks, you two are talking about managing your emotional, your emotional intelligence. First step is recognizing what you don't want to do. Totally. Look at us making progress. We are. Alicia, SPTV supporter. Hmm, a deep dive and frozen margaritas are clearly needed. You two together, my favorite SPTV to watch. Best comic relief duo, hands down. Love you guys. Aw, thanks, babe. Aw, shucks. Uh, Leanna Geyer. Hi, Aaron and Reese. My husband does that all the time. Over the smallest things, he's Catholic. I'm so sorry to hear that. I hope Way he to watches throw the it. Catholics under the bus. Um. <laughs> I'm teasing. I'm teasing. <laughs> uh, it literally comes down to the quote, shit happens and it always will. It's how you choose to let it affect you. Love you. 
Love you, Anita. Yes. Speaking of which, I did apologize to Jackson for being so short and impatient with him in our live stream yesterday. And he said, oh, I didn't think you were being short or impatient. And I said, Aww. well, the internet did. <laughs> Aaron got roasted over that, you guys. He was tired. It's no big deal. It's okay. They're friends anyway, outside of this. Exactly. Ren Jackson's B. a good guy. Uh, eating homemade pulled chicken nachos oh my god that sounds so good oh my god that sounds so good oh eating nachos with the 14 year old and watching the virtue signaling in these scientology moms posts are chef's kiss love y'all reese love the blouse thanks ryan it's anthropology she's my friend we talk about anthropology all the time <laughs> that sounds so good yeah V's saying housewives in the spy files are my favorite things on the internet kudos my sugar muffin reese and hairless chicken nugget Oh my God, that's so cute. He is a hairless chicken nugget. Aw, we're going to call You had him me that. at chicken nugget. That's cute. Joyce, we love you, gal. Joyce Drager with love. Ren B, I can't say where the money came from. I don't know the person whose credit card we used. <laughs> it's the dead person that they were pulled in money from. That is perfect. That's sick. Le Leanna Geyer, who is the parent and who is the child? You are the parent, so act like one. Bedtime is bedtime. Hardcore. Dang, Leanna. All right. Um, and the truth, the truth is, I remember when my kids were little, I just um I just they're just such great kids that even if they had a problem with something, I'd rather entertain them and make them laugh and have them have fun until they just naturally fall asleep. There's nothing funnier than seeing a kid fall asleep while in the middle of doing something. That's so uh, that's also for my entertainment. <laughs> That's true. Aaron, I love when you talk about your kids when they were little. You're a little softy. That's sweet. Oh, my kids are still actually incredible. Like, it's funny. Sometimes I have to remind myself that they do get themselves into trouble because they're just such great kids. And yet the trouble – <laughs> see, but I never went to high school, so I never had an opportunity to get into trouble. I get it. You, you know? Um, and I'm like, That's oh, my cute. God, they're such little angels. Except I go, oh, there was that. <laughs> Oh, yeah, but there nobody's gonna unless know, you came back purely as a free range organic phaeton, which is rare. I know you're gonna you're gonna hit a few bumps in the road. Exactly. Border collie mom. Be honest. Was there ever a time when you wouldn't have said when you wouldn't have said what the hell? Were you in so deep that this crap seemed normal? For me, I was never yes. a public. So I look at this stuff and I would have always made fun of this stuff because staff members mm -hmm. were not theedy weedy like this. So oh how to handle me tell me how to how, tell me how to do everything in my life staff members were, were just honestly didn't have time to yeah think like they were that way, way more hardcore yeah we were too sleep deprived we were too focused on this week's stats uh we just didn't do shit like this but that's so uh, true they were more focused on the statistics and getting the job done truly honestly they didn't have time for the yeah. rich housewives situation. But I'll, but I'll tell you who I'd love to have a chat with about this. We should invite Mary Khan to come on with us on one of these. Um, you know, cause she was a public, the entire, she was one of the public who did OT eight twice. Like she was, she, she knows what that public life was. I want, I, we've been talking about this for months. When are you going to have her on? Her computer was like with geek squad or something. Did you get it fixed? Oh, I'm sure it's been fixed. I just gotta, I just gotta press the point with her. I mean, of course it's fixed. That was like six months ago or whatever. Yeah, we need to get it done. I want to talk to her. She would be great to talk to. Yes, that would be awesome. Uh, freak on a leash. A. A. Ron can side hustle as a body shopping auctioneer. Creeping a bit. <laughs> uh, K. Samantha, I believe in reincarnation. God bless you. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Barbara says when my kids asked for a drink Barb. of water at bedtime, I'd be like, yeah, I'm thirsty too. <laughs> I could totally see that about Barb. Barb, I'm glad you're in here. I messaged you today. I was worried about you. I haven't seen you. I'm glad you're all right. I too was wondering where Barb had been. Yeah. I, I sent her a message today. I was like, are you with us? Cause you need to be in here with me. She wasn't with me last night. Um, Hey, quick question. Are we doing anything for Halloween? Cause I never, I don't yes. dress up. We I've are. Got okay. my, I've got my Danny Masterson costume ready to go. Prison I Danny. I know you do. And I know that you're all hyped up about it. Are you including you wanna, me in this? Do you want to dress up as Bubba the Love Panda? Aaron, if you say that one more time, no. But I thought Can about you being be an ice the Bubba cube. to my Danny. I was thinking about 
going back to my roots, being an ice you know, dress cube. Dress up as an ice cube. That could work as well. But I'm not going to go through spending money on that. I, I'm like you with apples at Costco or pizza. This is my apples at Costco and pizza. I don't spend money on crap like this. It's stupid. I think me. I spent 40, 20 bucks on the wig, maybe 20 bucks on the jumpsuit. Like, Yeah, but you're cheap. Everybody knows this. I'm cheap about Halloween and things where it's like one day only, like a wedding. You only have a but, few of those anyway. Why would you spend a bunch of money on it? But that's what I'm saying. Be What's the problem? Be cheap. I'm saying if you're not going to include me, I'm not going to buy anything. But if you're going to include me, I'll do something. No, we should do a Halloween live stream. Absolutely. Okay, then. I mean, don't twist my arm. I just wanted to know. Yeah, it would be great. I got the Danny Matt. I got the sunglasses. I got the wig with the sideburns. I'm not shaving my beard, though. Um, And uh, I got the jumpsuit. It's going to be amazing. If you could dress up as Bubba the Love Panda, that'd be a, that'd be even better. I'm just saying. I don't even I can't even picture what Bubba looks like. Although I think I can. I saw a dude yesterday in a truck, and I' pretty sure he was a trafficker, and it was terrifying. And he was giant, and all he had on was overalls, and his nips were hanging out. And I was like, I have got to gun it and get out of here. Pedal to the metal. I was like, I got to get away. And from then this just guy. wear some panda bear ears. <laughs> it was terrifying. I thought I was going to be trafficked. <laughs> Oh okay. my goodness. Um, Hold on. Barbara um, said something else. What is this? Barbara says, I've been watching and skipping the chat part. Oh, okay. 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 Ben busy. Okay, Barb. I'm it's fine. always here for heaven's sakes. I feel bad prying into your life, Barb, but I just want to make sure you're all right. Um, she is spectacular. Border collie mom. How about an empty room and come as Shelly? All right. I get I see what you did there. Mm -hmm. Um, All right, guys, this has been a blast. Another successful episode of Real Housewives of Scientology. Humble brag. uh, A season of humble brag. Yeah. Season Uh, one. All right. So we'll, um, I don't know what the next thing we have on on the agenda is, but no matter what, it's. Well, we have plenty of these, but also, guys, we do have a couple more audios and I want to send those. Aaron, I'm going to send those to you so you can take the time to edit them whenever you want to do it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, and hey, since I've been so um, slacking on promoting these little fellas, once again, if you want your own little, little Captain Davy of the fake space Navy, just visit the SP shop on fourth wall. That's the URL. You can Google. Oh, God, that fat cat is so, I love that cat. She's so fat. Um, Somebody just asked in a super chat how Huxley's uh, overnight went. It went really well. Thanks for asking. Huxley had his first overnight. He spent the night really? somewhere with a friend. Yeah, wow. last night. It was a big deal. Um, and oh, guys, I also wanted to say, um, I talked to Aaron today. I like this Sterling guy. I don't know him, but he seems like a cool dude. So I asked Aaron, John Sosovsky sent us, um, sent me a game called Pub Trivia. And he said, do this with Aaron, not with, like, don't, he knows I'm not smart enough for the questions, but he knows Aaron is. So I thought, how fun would it be? If I was the game show host and we had Aaron and Sterling and I asked them the questions because they're smarties. How do you guys feel about that? I think that sounds like fun. Guys, you're not going to believe it. I told Reese, Sterling literally asked me if me and him and Reese could do a trivia show and Reese could quiz me and Sterling. Like he literally asked me the exact same thing. That's weird. So then Aaron called me today while I was at Costco and I was like, hey, I think I like this Sterling guy. I think I want to do something with him. And I said the same thing. It was so weird. Isn't that so crazy? So we're going to do that. Anyway, he seems like a cool dude. I want to do it. So we're going to yeah. do that on, on some time when he's available. Just want to let you guys know. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us again. Thanks okay. for watching until the very end. We'll talk to you all soon. Bye, guys. If you want to see my rock and roll songs, kick right on this guitar. And if you want to see an, a different one of my videos, uh, then you could click right inside here. If you have subscribed or not, 